Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. Disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a US spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. During another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow's secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. One actual here. What's your status, Captain? It got punched out. Copter's down and we're scattered. 
Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. of new scientists and technicians took a target 12 has dwindled to nothing. Rumor has it that Dr. Barisov might become the new head of Katorga 12, but I doubt Moscow has much confidence in him. If only Dr. Demichev had died in the fire. E-99 is a valuable element that can only be found on Katorga 12. personnel first arrive on Katorga 12. It is home to many of the inhabitants of the island and features a school that offers the best in Russian education. The industrial docks are where supplies are brought in from the mainland. Hundreds of tons of equipment and material are offloaded here every day. The research laboratories are where scientific investigation is done into the potential uses of E-99. Some of the areas of experimentation include weapons development, crop regeneration, and medical research as well as chronology investigation. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E-99 ore. The processing facilities are where E-99 ore is purified and enriched. In order to protect the civilian population from any potential radioactivity, security is very high. Once construction is completed, the tower will be home to the Barisov reactor. This powerful device will generate a singularity, an event horizon that will provide the Soviet Union with unlimited energy that is both clean and safe. The threat from the West is ever-present, and here on the isolated island of Katorga 12, we are fighting that threat. The glorious work we are doing will change the world and keep our way of life safe from those who seek to do us harm. Soviet scientists have discovered the answer to our hopes and dreams, the element E-99. E-99 is a rare element only found on Katorga 12. There are many different ways to help the efforts of Mother Russia here on Katorga 12. Your family will live well on the island and your children will attend schools offering the very best Russian education. Scientific research is the largest division on the island, advancing agriculture, industry, medicine, and the military. Processing E-99 is an important part of the island's function, creating the metal, gas, and other forms of E-99 we use every day. A strong military presence is important on Katorga 12, to ensure the safety of the island. A workforce that will make every Russian proud is the backbone of the island. From the rail yard to the docks, every worker supports the motherland. All of your contributions will go towards achieving the ultimate goals of our work here on Katorga 12. We must stand as one against 
the forces of the West. You are the lucky one selected for service on Katorga 12. We have moved your family for your convenience. We must now stand together for Mother Russia. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNR's running carpool from there. Double timing. Move! of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has increased tenfold since Dr. Demichev went to Moscow. His presentation of our work must have been very successful. Additional facilities are being built and our research funds continue to grow. And to think, only four weeks ago Dr. Demichev almost died in that fire. Whoever saved him did us all a huge favor. So I'll make this quick. The singularity exploded about two hours ago, killing hundreds of people. But spreading radiation is also having effects. It's mutating humans into violent monsters, and they feed on human flesh. I have to get out of here before they find me.
Titan one actual. Copy. For fuck's sake, someone copy back! Copy back and tell me things look a little south of normal, because I'm officially freaking out! Go in section eight here. I know it, damn it. Okay. Okay, eyes forward. Keep to the original directive. Continue to the radio tower. Titan one, if you're receiving. I'm in what looks like a school, and there's some guy. Holy mother!
all alone. I am hiding in the restroom. There's everyone screaming and panicking outside. I don't know what to do. Please, help! Dr. Demichev has told us the equipment they're installing at the school is safe, but I'm worried. I have a friend who works at one of the animal testing labs. He told me E-99 mutates living flesh. How could they expose the children to something like that? Possibilities for E99 seem 
friends during lunch. They make us all sit at assigned tables and force us to eat the food they put in front of us. We can't trade with anyone. Not that I feel like eating much. My stomach has been hurting a lot lately. There has been another event, this one much worse than the last. It has exceeded Barisol's threshold. We are securing the facility, and then we will make our way down the hill. We must leave Katorga 12 at once. SNR yesterday. Let's move on. What the hell were these things? Seen anything like them? Did the Russians create them? But they did. Why? It, but I'm pretty sure a massive pillar of energy shooting into the sky wasn't mentioned in the mission brief. This is Devlin 4-1. Do you copy Titan 1? Titan 1, this is Devlin 4-1 on guard frequency. Please respond. Are we good to go with extraction? People are gathering at the gate to the docks. Word is spreading that there isn't enough room on the guard boats. If only we still had the peril. Let's 
Stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. How could Intel have been so wrong? This place is anything but abandoned. Something's not right. We should at least be able to hear the Titan on broadcast. Search and rescue teams better be on the fitting way right now. And it's our job to make sure we stay safe. Once again, Dr. E-99 will be helping us today as we talk about safety. Katorga 12 is a great place to live. There are plenty of fun places for you and all your friends to play. But there are also dangers on the island. And if you want to do your part to help on Katorga 12, you'll pay attention and avoid these areas. For example, there are many new buildings and roadways under construction. These are very hazardous places for children. And of course, there are the important experiments we're doing with E-99. He's our friend, but we have to be careful around him sometimes. Look at little Ivan with his dog. It's important he pays attention to the signs. Uh-oh, it looks like Ivan's dog got into something he shouldn't have. That would be a real shame if Ivan got too close to the processing plant. So don't let this happen to you. Remember that safety here on Katorga 12 is everyone's responsibility. And of course, the most important thing to remember, something we should never forget. And of course, it's possible because of Nikolai Demichev. Let's go. The uniform's a little different from what I've seen, but this is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Let's go. They cover me. On me! All clear! Right go! Blank right! I'll go left!
There's the radio tower. Let's contact Titan One and get out of this circle, jerk. On me! It's 86th. Go check out that guard post. Maybe there's another switch. Mistake. 